Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. I think I'd forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action.
I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. specializes in exotic technology. That's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. 
Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch.
use noise to lure this guard from his post. Try ringing that gog and picking his pocket when he returns to his post.
Hello, I'm here for the dance. Huh? Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Well, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh, uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Thank <laughs> you. 
security. Thank <laughs> you. 
might need to use your stealth attack in here. Remember, the triangle button knocks guys up into the air, and the square button brings them down hard. <laughs> you into the ballroom. Got your tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Your tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. The only problem is, she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. Alright, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry, do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. to get at old Ironsides. Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. Delicious. Thank you. 
Lovely. That fellow is very graceful. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Oh, silence. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela, his skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. <laughs> It's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Okay, I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. <laughs> Use the left analog stick to aim and hold down the R1 button to fire. But be careful, if you continue firing for too long, your gun will overheat and you'll have to wait for it to stay out. Try getting a shot off on that chopper. Shoot down the enemy missiles before they hit you. Let's 
triumphant! Good work! The sky's all clear! All right, boys, we're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajad's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajad's prize elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heights. Bentley, what's your status? I'm in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface-to-air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Hostile has been sighted. Hey, Bentley, use the left analog stick to steer the chopper and hit the X button to drop bombs. If you lose track of the Jeep, I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. Partner, that Jeep's out of commission and we'll have clear skies for the heist.
pretty heavy. Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. Sure looks spooked. A uh, job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I'll need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephants' backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. Thank you. 
these rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drain pipe, so we'll need you to unlock the vault room from the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. I don't see any code. Try another table. It's here somewhere. Attention, vault room guards. Allow no guest entry to the inner workings of the palace. This party is supposed to be legitimate. And I don't want my flawless reputation being spoiled by some flunky who doesn't know how to look. Cador, this spice trade is a dangerous word, particularly for those... No code here. This table doesn't have the code. This is it! Fantastic! Now, type the code into the vault's laser door entrance. Nice work! Make your way to the security lockdown switch and let in me and Murray. for breaking us in, pal. The Murray approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows no fear. Okay, I'm in. Hacking the level six barrier. Almost there. Got it. Moving on to the level five system. Okay, I'm close. Changing back for level four access. Oh, my God. 
I can taste it! I'm unstoppable! I've got control of the winch! Thanks for the backup, guys! No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray! Let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's the plan. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guard standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic winch. Once down, he'll cut the wings free and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats. Which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. That's one. Uh oh, the bridge is starting to crumble. Better watch out for falling stones. More cleats down here! That's it for the lower section! Now for the main support beams!
the van and get ready with the RC chopper. Good luck! What? The bridge is destroyed? Take all the manpower you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check! It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Tell me, stranger. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I... I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could've... What? Cooper! Yeah. <laughs> 
After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough.